thousand people are stranded in China's Sichuan province after a massive landslide, and our Jen Delgado has all the details. Jen. Hi, Anna. You know, I want to point out to you, you mentioned in the story out of flooding out of Russia, how people said they didn't get warning for that, and that's one of the problems that we have across the U.S. and why so many people rely on weather radios, because when those storms move in the overnight, people are sleeping. Uh, certainly hard to warn people. Now, another area that's been dealing with uh, widespread flooding, we're talking about in China, and actually uh, in the Sichuan province, we're talking uh, days of heavy rainfall led to a massive landslide. Let me show you this video, and now we're hearing reportedly uh, 100,000 people have become um, basically stranded because this landslide is so big, it roughly is about 600 meters wide, 650 meters long, and they're worried that this landslide might lead to a potential risk of uh, creating a huge barrier lake, and that could threaten another nearby town. Again, uh, this area right here, as I said, nearly 100,000 people have been stranded, and more rain is on the way across this region. As I show you on the satellite, you can see where this rain is just setting up right along this boundary system, the Mayu Bayou. It brings the heavy rainfall uh, for this time of the year. Also notice some heavy rainfall uh, moving just to the north of Shanghai. And also want to point out to you, the Ryukyu Islands, they continue to be pounded with the heavy rain, but the system is going to be bringing more of this heavy precipitation uh, through parts of the Korean Peninsula, and eventually over towards western Japan, all along this boundary, we're going to see the potential for flooding woes. And I also want to show you some more video coming out of China. Uh, and this is another area. This is coming out of the Henan province. Uh, this is out of central China. And this is done uh, typically every year. This helps to relieve and clear up some of the uh, sediment-laden parts of the Yellow River. And you can see by the color of the water how dark it is quite a bit there. This is done to, of course, help alleviate some of the problems across this region. We're going to talk more about China, and we're also going to talk about a heat wave affecting parts of central and eastern China in just a short while. Stay with us. Now, we want to point this rain out to you because uh, it's bringing in a lot of moisture, a lot of humidity. When you add that in with the temperatures, of course, it feels even warmer than the actual highs. Well, uh, just on Monday alone, we saw high temperatures climb to 39 degrees through uh, many parts, especially along the east as well as central parts of China, Chongqing as well as Fuzhou. They all saw those numbers climbing to 39 degrees. That's roughly about 5 to 7 degrees above average for this time of the year. You can see on the temperatures right now, starting off 29 in Hong Kong, 26 in Beijing, 31 in Shanghai. So once again, expect high temperatures to climb into the upper 30s in some parts as well as mid 30s. Now across parts of India, uh, heavy rainfall has been coming down in some parts, but still the monsoon, monsoon is still running a little bit behind schedule, but you can see from Mangalore and some other areas, you can see they picked up about 100 millimeters of rainfall and more rain will be on the way, moving slowly towards the northwest. Anna, we're going to talk about...